Hey, spiritual superstars. This one thing is going to speed up your manifestation. If you've been wondering why you can't manifest what you want, you're just like, the universe isn't giving it to me. I thought the universe was supposed to conspire on my behalf. I thought God wanted me to have this thing. Well, let's figure that out right now, okay? I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where we help you master your spiritual gifts and how to hear from God. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, you know what we do. Type in your four ones, the opening of the spirit realm. I like to use the hashtag so people can find us and they'll know exactly what to do when they see the four ones. So let's type it in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And then let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Why do we do that? Because you are the soul within your human and everything about manifestation has everything to do with that simple fact. Ready? Take a beautiful deep breath in, raising our vibration, kissing our higher self, connecting with the divine. Come on now, in from your diaphragm and you just can't focus on anything else but breathing. So let that exhale start. Push. Challenging your human, kissing your higher self, connecting with the divine. And on your exhale, you are letting go of all the doubt, the pain, the circumstances. All right, all right, all right. So, you are the soul within your human, okay? You are the soul within your human. And that's really, really, really important in manifestation. What is manifestation? Manifestation is when something becomes real. Well, that something existed already, right? You existed before you became real. How'd that happen? Okay, you might be like, she's crazy. Let me break it down for you because I know that your human is paying attention and she or he needs human logic. So you, right here, let me give you a nice beautiful heart. That's you. So you are manifested, right? You are something that is real, right? You know you're real. You're not just made up, right? However, uh, two people with these titles, no matter how much, how many, how you feel about these two right here, they thought you up. Now, they may have purposely thought you up or they may have subconsciously thought you up. Okay, so purposely meaning consciously, subconsciously meaning, you know what, I didn't know I was gonna get pregnant or you know, we weren't really expecting, um, but you know, we're okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> However way you came to be, you know, you came to be, all right? And not only that, but here's a beautiful fun fact. You are like one in 470 trillion of a ratio of even making it. Can you stand that? You, you against 470 trillion others that didn't make it, you made it. So you're here for a reason. So manifesting that very thing that you want to so badly, it's going to happen. And you have to know it's going to happen. But what, but what often happens is many people get caught in the minutia of life and forget that we live within a very unlimited energy. It's untapped, it is ready to be manifested, and it is within your reach. It is something you're capable of. So why do some of us have a difficult time manifesting versus others? Some people have made that baby, you know, that you once were and never even meant to. And you've got some people that are just trying infertility treatments, praying for everything, faith, everything under the sun, um, holistic 
medicine, remedies, everything they could think of, surrogates, um, and nothing is happening for them, right? So what we have been able to manifest, it comes from something. You came from something, right? And so those two people, your mom and your dad, had a thought. We're going to get together. You know, we're going to get together. And so they got together. No matter what the circumstances were, there was a thought there. No matter what the circumstances were, there was a thought. Hermetic principle will teach us, and does teach us, that all is mind. Okay? All is mind. What does that mean? It means that everything comes as a thought first. You came as a thought first. I came as a thought first. You manifesting the fact that you wanted to watch this video came with a thought first. What was the thought that brought you here? Oh, man, yeah, thumbnail looks good. Let me check it out. Maybe this is something. I don't know. I resonate with it. Let me, let me see. Oh, I love Nicole. Let me see. She's got something else out. Oh, my goodness. I'm feeling this. Let me just see. Whatever the thought was, I ain't got nothing else to do. Let me look at it. Whatever it is, you manifested this very act of watching this video. It's as simple as that. All is mind. Everything that you own began with a thought. What happened with that thought? Okay, so first we got all is mind, right? Which is... Your thought. Now, here's the beautiful part about this before we move on to the next. Your mind is something you don't see. What do we see? We see the brain. Physics, biology, science has already taught us what a brain looks like, right? If you see a picture of a brain, your human eyes will say, that's a brain. But what does the mind look like? Well, here's the beauty about that. The only way that you see the mind is in the spiritual realm. But guess what? Science has proven that too. You know how? They call it quantum physics. Okay, so you can manifest that which you so desire when you realize, okay, it already exists in my mind. It already exists. All is mind. And so I can think it. Therefore, it is not quite. There's another step. But I can think it. I can think it because I was thought to come some capacity and now I'm here. Hmm. And that thought comes from the spirit realm or the field. Okay, quantum physics calls it the field, right? Well, that vast plane holds the energy that ultimately becomes your manifested reality or your desired outcome coming true, your dreams coming true, all right? So what is the bridge? If this is all in the quantum field, right? If this is all energy in what we don't see, what do we see? Well, remember, science has already proven that too. So we know that there is a brain. Biology has proven that, right? Science has proven that. We know what. We know what the brain looks like, right? So how do we connect this where we hold our vision of what we want to manifest and we put it in our brain? And why do we do that? 
Well, we know that our brain is our human, right? It's in our human body, right? It's in there. We know what it looks like, right? We know that it's there. Well, how do we get from A to B in this dimension that we call life? We use our brain. When people say so sarcastically, are you thinking? What were you thinking about? Sometimes say it to yourself. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh, right? You're using your brain. Here's the beauty of your brain. Your brain has quadrants, four, right? And so we know that in these quadrants, energy exists. How do we know that? Well, in our brain, we got something called long and short term memory. Now, how does all this play into manifesting that which you want? Well, you've got your thought. That is what you want to manifest, okay? You've got that energy already exists because science has already proven that. So we know that it's real, right? Right. So now we know that that thought exists inside my mind, which is inside my brain, okay? Now I know my brain is inside my human body. Well, I know that my human body tends to go back to think of the past. And so my human says, well, why can't we manifest this thing? We want it. Why is everybody else manifesting what they want? What am I missing? I mean, when I tried to manifest this, it didn't work. When I tried to manifest that, it didn't work. And our human gets into desperation mode. And our human is all fear-based energy. This is where it becomes really, really important for you to get this next step. As the soul within your human, you must reprogram your human. You must realign your human's long-term term, and short-term memory based on quantum physics of the energy that already exists in the field of the spiritual realm which already is in your control, called your thought process. Because what is manifestation? Your thought that exists in your mind. So as you reprogram your human, your human then understands OMG. This already exists. And if it already exists, then there must be a way to get to it. So now, if I know that point B is my destination, I know that I can get there because I'm at point A. But how do I get to point B? That is the question. That is the secret of manifestation. Well, you start with your thought. Let's do it right now. We're going to run through these steps so that you get it. What is, you, what is it that you want to manifest? Write it down below. All right? Write it down below. If it is a better paying job, if it is success in your own business, if it is family, if it is a healthy, beautiful, blessed baby, if it is um, the reunion of your true love, whatever it is, if it's health, you want to be healed from a chronic illness, if you want to be in your own home, if you want just pure happiness, what is it that you want? And it could be spiritual growth, whatever it is, okay? And you really want to go big on this because that energy already exists, okay? We've already proven that science is even... Um, let you know time and time again through quantum physics that it exists. 
And so now what we really just are looking for is the plan. All we want is, this is the plan. We want the direction, which is spiritual guidance. We want the path, okay? And so now that you know all of that, you know what you're, you want to manifest, you've written it down. Now I want you to take a beautiful deep breath in and I want you to see it. Ready? Deep breath in. Come on now and exhale. On your exhale, you're going to see your manifestation. Breathe it in. It just looks so good. It feels so good. Oh, you're giving your human time to just feel what that is like. It exists. Breathe it in. Absorb it. What are you doing when you do this repeatedly? What are you doing? You are absolutely reprogramming your brain. Because now, the more you do that, you are showing your human brain a new thought. Now, the thing is, it can be the same manifestation that you want right? It's the same goal. However, time is going by in the dimension that your human resides in, right? Time is going by. But the dimension that you are pulling from is timeless. Quantum physics has already proven that. So not only are you in a multi-dimensional field of energy, but you are controlling that and you are going with the flow of the side that you don't control. So you're literally enacting and activating the law of attraction. And that really is how to apply the energy and the principles of the secret that I'm sure you are very familiar with the book, the movie, the concept that the universe really does conspire on your behalf to give you what you want, but it is in what you are thinking. And that thought is the energy frequency that you are putting out to this field of energy and that we cannot see, but that we know exists. And we know that it exists from here, but it's connected to this. And so every time you do that again and you circle back around and you think of something, oh, that looks kind of off, doesn't it? It looks like a smiley, winky kind of emotion. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's say that you are, there's part of your thought, okay? And so now you've got some kind of obstacle that says we can't have that because the responsibilities of life because of what happened last time well we tried it but it didn't work for us maybe we're just not meant to be successful business owners don't you even go there this is what you got to do when that obstacle when that negativity comes in from other people too the naysayers the doubters the people that are like gave up on their own dreams so they tell you to give up on yours don't let them dream killers get any ounce of what's going on up in your mind. That's sacred space, okay? Because they can't see it until you share it, right? And so whenever these blocks come in, these obstacles expect it. Because these are the things that say, I can't manifest it. You absolutely can. What you do is, this is a block. All right, I can get around this. Why? Because I got to get here. So what am I going to do to get this out of the way? How am I going to just move past that obstacle? I am going to do some more visualizing. I am going to, um, I'm going to strengthen my thought. And I'm just going to repeat it. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. I'm going to duplicate that process over and over and over. And the bridge to making this all happen 
bringing it from the quantum physics field of spiritual alchemy of spiritual realm listening to our spiritual guidance is taking let me write this in a different should have erased that huh but you can read it massive action massive action so that massive action is now what you are triggering your human to do and your human knows that, oh my gosh, there is a plan of action that I can totally take that is humanly logical to get to that B because I'm here. And so every time you go back to your thought and you Feed your human that vision through your prayer, your meditation, through when you are taking a walk, you are meditating and you're seeing that vision, you're seeing where you're going because you're in the in-between. So you've got to be able to reprogram your human and say, you know, this is temporary. This is a placeholder while we manifest that. So don't be trying to get all comfortable here. No, 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 no. This is just a placeholder. This is very temporary. This is where we need to be before we actually manifest it. Take it for what it is. It is not our... It is right here, which the more that you do this becomes right here, becomes here, becomes here. And what are you doing to get to here? You're taking massive action. And so every time your human is like, okay, well, show me, show me that vision again. What happens is you end up reprogramming, reprogramming your brain, your human, okay? You get to reprogram her. You get to take your power back. You get to tell him, oh, we are now listening to all the limited beliefs. We're now listening to the current circumstances that we're in because you know what we heard Nicole say? This point A is temporary. It's moving all the time. And guess who proved that? You guessed it. Quantum physics. Science has proven that to us, so we don't need to question it. All you need to do is tell your human, honey, you don't need to fear this. I know that you thought it was all spiritual, but you know what it is. It's scientific and spiritual. And guess what? You control that scientific side because you are dense matter. And so now all you got to do is let me handle the spiritual side, right? Which is spiritual alchemy. And so all you're doing is repeating it. You're repeating that process and at that same time you're hearing your spiritual guidance and your human is like, I never thought of that before. When you get that beautiful message that comes in from the bushes when you are jogging past them and you touch the bushes and something just tells you inside of you to just run your fingers across that bush and your ancestors got you and they say, this is what I want you to do and you're just like, oh, Oh my gosh, that ties in together. That's exactly what I need to do. And you talk to someone on the phone and you're calling customer service and they're telling you about something else. And all of a sudden you share something and you're just like, why did I share that? Same time, you're just like, and they say, well, maybe you could try such and such. And you're just like, oh, I never thought of that. Thank you so much. That's it. That's brilliant. That was what I was looking for. And then you realize you just received spiritual guidance. And guess what? You now have a... Next step to get to the next A. All right. Hey, right? So then what happens? Well, then you start seeing synchronistic messages all over the place. You start seeing numbers and all kinds of symbols because numbers are symbols. And then you start vibrating around different people because you're like, you know, and I don't need to be around them blood suckers because they, you know, they kill dreams and stuff like that. I love them. I mean, you know, I was born with them. They're my family and all that stuff. But you know what? They're so negative. They're so toxic. Oh, my gosh. Every time that they leave, I feel like I got to just unpeel from my own skin. That's just not, you know, it ain't healthy. 
My kids are acting up and stuff. It's just all negative. I got a sage. Uh-uh, I don't have to do that every time. So you know what? I need some new people to be around. You know, let me go on YouTube. Let me check out, where's she at? Where is Nicole? Where, what tribe you got, Nicole? Well, good thing that you asked. I'm thankful that you asked. Get on over to spiritualguidanceacademy.com. The links are down below. Welcome to your new tribe. Get on over to Facebook. And that's our private group, Spiritual Guidance Academy. And um, you're going to find what you need there. You're going to find high vibes. You're going to find no judgment. You're going to find um, just happiness and just freedom to really understand what's happening to you in this spiritual journey and to be able to manifest that which you so desire because you do deserve it. You are the master of your uh Fate, you are the captain of your soul. I have all you know from Invictus. Um, and so every time you receive that, maybe you have a dream and you wake up that next morning and you're like, oh my gosh. And you write it down in your journal because you're just like, that was more than a dream. And you're absolutely right. You could have had an out-of-body experience and that dream was a part of your spiritual guidance no matter what it was. It is meant for you to follow it. And so now you're not here anymore. You are on your way to manifesting that which you so desire. And guess where it all started? Right up here. Spiritual alchemy, hermetic principle, spiritual guidance, the way that God reaches out to us, and physics, which is science. All right, well, dear love, I pray that you know that round robin that has to happen, you're just going to keep on feeding your human that energy. You're just going to keep on going back to that thought. You're going to keep on circling back, and your human is going to catch on, and your human is going to be like, now, okay, in the past, it happened like this. No longer is your human going to say, we failed in the past. Your human has learned. Your human is so smart. Give your human credit. Pat yourself on the back so your human knows. Oh, she's talking about me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So your human can be like, yes. All right, we got this. Right? Yeah, he's talking about me. All right, go on, man. I know that's right. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. We did that. That's right. <sighs> that's right. You know, give your human that because it's very important. Otherwise, your human is going to be like, we ain't doing it. And then you will be like in that vicious cycle of not manifesting what you really deserve. Right? And so, um, and so what you are doing is reprogramming your human's brain, right? By now, your human is like, the last thing that I remember, long term and short term, was something that worked for us. It got us closer to our manifested outcome. OMG, it was a total small win. Case in point, let's give you a case study of, of how this works, okay? Um, I wanted to manifest my children because doctors told me that I would never have children. Um, I also wanted to manifest the fact that I could heal my own human. And so um, in the beginning, I was very distraught. I was very, uh, I just felt like the whole world caved in on me because doctor after doctor, seven, had told me, you will never have children, and if you try, you will die, and so will your baby. We want you to have a full hysterectomy. And I was born to be a mama. When I tell you I was born, I was born to be a mama. And I knew this. I knew that God had already shown me what my children looked like, showed me and told me repeatedly that they're going to call you mama, not mommy, not ma, not mother, none of that. I'm going to call you mama. And I felt that deep inside of me. And I know this to be true. And so I fed that. And so I would see it. In my mind's eye, I would wake up and visualize having to go to the kid's room and, and, and smiling over my, my sleeping baby. And I would smell my babies, okay? I would smell them. And I would soak that all up until my human was smiling. And then I would get up and get dressed. And that's how I started my day. And that's how I would go through my day. So when I would feel that, dis that stress 
and that super strong pain of someone else telling me what my life looked like, what it needed to look like, how it was going to play out, and all that lie of the third, which you don't live there, dimension, um, which is a lie, all of that, you know, and the doubt would come in, the people around, maybe you should just believe the doctors. Oh my gosh, I gotta stay away from you. I gotta stay away from you because you don't believe in my dream. And I believe in my dream. Okay, so it would be like that. And I would constantly, every time that would come in, I would cry. And, how could they do that? How could they say that? How could I feel like I'm by myself? Maybe I should believe the doctor. No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. That message would come in really clear. Boom. No, you shouldn't. And it would come in my spiritual guidance. Either I would hear an ad, a commercial that would say, are you seeking to be a mother? You know? And so what did I do? I went to uh, follow my spiritual guidance. They often come in triplicate and uh, became a foster care mother and had given my energy into becoming a mama. Okay? Getting prepared. You are preparing on your journey to manifest that which you so desire. And so you're doing the work. What was I doing? I was taking massive action, reprogramming my human. I was, I was uh, repeating my thought. I was feeding her, my human, exactly what we were manifesting. And, um, and I was, it was all in the spiritual realm. And it was all backed by physics, um, science. And it was all metaphysical. I was feeling it over my human. And definitely click the link um, somewhere on here, this video, wherever. I think it'll be at the end where you're going to learn more about that itching and burning, crawling sensations all over your skin and why that metaphysical sensation is there and how it ties into your manifestation. And I was inching closer to my desired outcome. But I was reprogramming her and that's really big because every time... That doubt comes in every time that lie that we slip up, we go on back to that third dimension that is all lies, all the energy, right? It's all the dream killer's energy. That's why we don't live there. You'll hear me say we always are in the fourth dimension, right? So when we try to open that door up to the third dimension, it's it's horrible. It's toxic. It's thick. It's dense. It's like, oh, goodness. Nobody wants to live there, right? So we don't live there. So then... um. My human began to say, you know, we are a mom. And that was the first time that I really realized, Nikki, you were born a mom. Because you have eggs. You were born a mom. So yes, you were born to be the mom that you are. In the day that I uh, graduated from um, foster care, I was so excited. I had a nice little folder, my little notes, and did my hand, best handwriting and I was all in, all in to not the how I had succumbed and became very vulnerable and submitted to the most high. You have the best plan for me. And so I was following the master plan, right? I was following God's plan, but I was committed to it and I was going to, it, it was going to happen. And so the day, you know, that I was graduating, they had cupcakes, and I'm a big foodie, and I'm a sweet alcoholic. I got that, and they had uh, whipped cream frosting. Now, that's my favorite. I picked that thing up, and I felt like I was going to throw up. I was pregnant. I was pregnant. I had um, my uh, daughter, <laughs> and she was four weeks early. She was eight pounds. And uh, she would have been a 15-pound baby, you know. And uh, she was beautiful, blessed. And so was my son. When he was born, he was 9 pounds. He was 4 weeks early. He would have been 16. I think he would have really been a 20-pound baby because he was so heavy. Oh, my gosh. They were both juicy, beautifully blessed, healthy babies. Um, and what did I do? That whole process. I followed the plan. I reprogrammed my human to knowing the truth of what we're manifesting already exists. And I, every time she would get bogged down by the people that live in the third dimension called dream killers um, and doubters and toxic people and all that stuff, the energy was just whoop, whoop, to toxic, just whoop, negative, right? Uh, she would detach and separate herself. 
just didn't pick up the phone, just kept it surface level. Some people totally cut off on and um, started living that life. Started leaving the job as though I was going to pick up my child from daycare. What would I do? I'll go treat myself. And every time that I would see someone that was a, a mama, I would say, you're so beautiful. I think uh, pregnant women are the most beautiful people on earth, you know. And Or I would say congratulations before I would feel so negative and I would feel so jealous and envious that I, I would never bring myself to say that. Changed the whole uh, blueprint of what my human had been programmed to believe and what they in the third dimension were trying to impress upon her to live that would have kept me right where they were, miserable, stuck, stagnant, and the farthest away from my manifested outcome. All right, so I pray that this helps you. If I can help you with your manifestation, I definitely am here for you. The first thing I want you to do right now is type down below, type in the comment section, what you are manifesting. What is it that you want to manifest? Be very specific because as in the Bible, we want to make it plain and it will come to pass. And so you definitely want to write it down. What is it that you're manifesting? I, for one, if it, when it was my children, I am manifesting a beautiful, healthy baby. I am a healthy, blessed mother of a beautiful, healthy baby girl, of a beautiful, healthy baby boy. I mean, get very specific and, um, and you know, and you just really want to put it down there. If you put it down there, I'm telling you, you're letting your human see it. Therefore, you're giving her something that came from your mind that then was transferred to her brain that then is something that she can see as a possibility because now you are helping her see it clearly with her human eyes or his human eyes and now you're causing him or her to take action and actually write it down. That is big. That is huge because if we can create it and when we create it, we then manifest it, okay? We can think it, we create it, we then can take action and manifest it, right? That's all it is. And so write it down, let the universe see it, let your humans see it. And I will come back and pray over it and pray with you to manifest it. All right. So Spiritual Superstar, thank you so much. And honey, get on over to spiritualguidanceacademy.com where you're going to see our manifestation kit. You definitely want it. It is, there's a few things in that kit, but it's what I use. It's what so many of us use to manifest what we truly want and desire, okay? Life is too short not to give your energy the very best. And you, de you definitely deserve the very best. All right, dear loves. Mwah! I love y'all so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You hit that little bell so that you can be notified when we come back over with free spiritual guidance. And even if you hit that little subscribe bar, eons ago hit it again make sure that you've hit that bell one more time because you know facebook and youtube and all that does their little thing and whatever happens you know we get lost and mercury retrograde all that stuff so let's just make sure that you've got it and you're good Mwah. i will see you very soon